After several years, Xiangyun and Xingqiu were reunited. Xiangyun, a well-established exorcist, and Xingqiu, an evil spirit. Unlike other evil spirits, Xingqiu wasn't afraid of Xiangyun, perhaps due to their long friendship, or because he was more powerful than those weak ghosts. Wherever Xiangyun went, Xingqiu would follow along. Though they had to take care to not touch, for fear that Xingqiu might disappear due to Xiangyun's congenital positivity. One day... Yes, ghosts can trip over rocks. Maybe it's a ghost rock. <gasps> I'm... okay? Wow, you have abs! Rogue. I am an evil spirit after all. Remember when I said, if you can't reduce the effectiveness of your congenital positivity, you should find an evil spirit that is immune to it? Well, now you have one. Hmm. To send gifts to the dead, one had to burn them as offering. When Xingqi became an evil spirit, though he was able to eat human food, it tasted like dust. So, Xiongyun would often burn gifts for Xingqiu. Baked goods, new clothes, books. Don't you dare burn any books! But Xingqiu was still an evil spirit. And Xiongyun... Dear Xiongyun, your dream is to rid the world of evil spirits. So, will you exercise me too? <sighs> the two travelled the world together, exercising evil spirits. Xingqiu became more powerful as he helped Xiongyun, and was able to change his physical appearance. When Xiongyun died, his body was cremated. And together, they left the mortal world. If I had a dime for every time I showed a friend this comic and they went, Did Shen Yan cremate Xiong Yun? I'd have two dimes, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Or maybe I'm the weird one. I don't know, you guys tell me. A big thank you to Ro on Twitter for letting me dub this comic, and to Ran VA who played Xiong Yun. I've linked both of their socials in the description, so please, please check them out.